That was one of the many animated discussions we've had with the Reverend Al Sharpton over the last three years on this show. We don't always agree, but my strange affection for the Rev has never diminished. And I'm proud to have him here tonight joining us on our last show as he joined us on our first. Here now the man himself, president of the National Action Network, the Reverend Al Sharpton. Rev, I'm glad you're here. Glad to be here, Tucker. So what do you make of this Jeremiah Wright? I think it's a lot of media. I mean, come on. The man... Any number of religious leaders, Tucker, has said things that you and I can question. So I think that clearly because Barack Obama is running for president, now we're going to go and dig up anything we can on Jeremiah Wright. I mean, we've got, we've got on the Republican side, you have this pastor that called Catholicism the whore of Babylon. No one is uh, uh, running that every night and asking McCain. No, no, that, that, that's true. But McCain didn't have that pastor baptize his children, marry him to his wife, or name his book after one of his sermons. And I also don't think that pastor accused the United States of creating AIDS. That's kind of a heavy Well, trip. but first of all, I, I think Barack Obama released a very strong statement this afternoon saying that he was not aware of these things. You know, I grew up in church, started as a boy preacher. Yeah. Many of the things that my bishop said I didn't know, and many he said I didn't agree. I remember growing up, he said it was a sin for women to wear pants. Is so it? I mean, no, I don't think it is, and I don't think he ended up thinking it was after what. <laughs> so just because you're a parishioner in a church does not mean that you have no mind of your own and that you are there for every sermon and that you agree on everything. This church, Trinity, is one of the most prominent churches in Chicago. Judges, lawyers, all kinds of people go there. So, I mean, it's absurd. The irony of it that the media won't say is that Trinity is a member of a white denomination Denomination. How could it be? Right? Did the did the white denomination heads of the United Church of Christ know what Jeremiah Wright would say if it was so bad? Well, he, Why are you going to blame a parishioner? What about well, the no, leaders no, no, of but, the but, church? Wait, hold on. The church itself, and you can go right to the website and check it out, preaches, espouses what it describes as a black-oriented theology. And right. here's my question. This is a political question without getting into theology with right. an actually with a preacher. This is going to scare the hell out of white people, and you know that that's true. No, it's designed to attempt to scare. By whom? By, by those that are raising the issue. Clearly, they're, not, they're trying to distract. Obama's around the campaign, and as you know, I'm not representing Obama. I haven't endorsed him. But anybody. you like him. I can I, tell I you like, I like. I like what he has represented, and I think that it's unfair to try and now say to him, you know, your, your pastor said this eight years ago, and your pastor said this, and we believe you might have been in church that day, any more than if you walked up to me and said that, the head of the church that I'm in might have said something that I don't know about. Or your church. For the, you've gone to church to hear me preach. Are you responsible for everything I said? No, but I was impressed by it. Uh, let me ask but you about But let me pull out the tape and start questioning you about it. I mean, so that's but what I'm, I'm saying. Let's I'm, be I'm fair. I'm a TV news host. I'm discredited by definition. I'm not running for anything. Let me ask you this. Uh, the, the Reverend Wright said that Bill Clinton has, and the Clintons have done to America what Bill Clinton did to Monica Lewinsky. Do you agree with that? No, I heard you say you agree with it. Well, I do. I, I love that so a see, lot. See how you play? You didn't know I was watching. Like <laughs> I always I, assume you're I, watching. I, I disagree with some of the Clinton policies. I agree with other Clinton policies. But what I don't agree with is making Barack Obama be, uh, become responsible any more than any other parishioner. That's all he is. There's a guy in the pews for what goes on in the pulpit. One of the most liberal churches in New York is Riverside Church. They've yeah. always been anti-war, anti-many things. Are you going to tell me that a lot of the very wealthy, well healed people that go there agree with everything that comes off the pulpit? That's absurd. Well, they're misguided, guilty white liberals. I live oh. among them. I know their ways. Trust oh. me. I, I, you know, I, I couldn't, you'll never hear me defending. I, I defending just think them. that this is, this is not being realistic. Any more than, you know, the tapes were re revealed on Billy Graham saying some anti-Semitic things yeah. in the White House. Will it be fair for us to say Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton should never have had Billy Graham in the White House after knowing he has sat in the White House talking anti-Semitism and how dare you invite, we denounce you for letting Billy Graham back in the White House after he said what he said about Jews in the White House? I mean, we can create an issue wherever we want. Why don't we talk about <laughs> well, health care say, and the war? Let, let me just say, there's a reason you're famous. Why? Because you're good at this. I have to. I mean, we both know you're totally wrong, but you make a great How argument. How am I wrong? I mean, the, 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 the logic of which Billy Graham, who of course we wouldn't question, said some of the most anti-Semitic things in the world on tape in the White House. Yeah. But we don't ask a president why he was still let back in the White House. We, we, I mean, come on. You've had Pat Buchanan on on over three years. Who's been more supportive of the Palestinians? But Buchanan has the right to be on TV. Graham has the right to keep going to the White House. But Obama's response responsible for his pastor's sermons that he may not have been there. Give me a break. <laughs>
If I could buy, you know what? They should just go ahead and hire you at the Obama campaign. They have no one so talented. The Reverend Al Sharpton gracing our set for the final Thank time. Thank you for all that you've Thank done you, to Rev. keep the dialogue alive. <laughs>